Ladies and gentlemen, Yu Ming Chu. much time to prepare a speech, so it would be a little bit ropey. Um, there's been a disgusting rumour going around today. Uh, for those who weren't at the morning ceremony, yes, um, I was crying. Uh, <laughs> let me just say that uh, I was acting. <laughs> because uh, I wanted to make it memorable for you all, and uh, I thought that would be it. I don't cry. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming down, um, especially uh, the people who've come from overseas. Um, 2012, it's been a mental year, really. Uh, you know, we've had um, AFC play their first season <laughs> at the Football League. The, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. An Englishman won the Tour de France. <laughs> and we've had the best Olympic Games ever. And now to top it off, um, we get to celebrate our wedding day with all of our friends and family. Yay! So I'd just like to ask uh, Scotty. Scotty, yes, you. And I don't, don't look behind. Yeah, you. <laughs> and, and my dad to step forward. Where's, where's my dad? Dad. Okay, there's my dad. He's going to chill at the back. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank Scotty and my dad because it was because of them uh, me and Seafong got together. So, uh, so, yeah, we were out on New Year's Eve, um, I think it was uh, 2008. Um, my dad went to the toilet. Um, and I was waiting for him and bumped into Scotty, who was out for Seafong. And uh, the moment we saw each other, sparks flew. Um, or at least in my mind they did. I, I was convinced she fancied me. Um, in, in, in actual fact, that she barely even noticed me. But I didn't find that until later. Um, having said that, it wasn't long before I was successfully stalking her on Facebook. And uh, within a few weeks I'd managed to get our first date which I pretty much blew, firstly by driving into a traffic island, <laughs> secondly letting her pay for the drinks at the bar, <laughs> and then finally, uh, the final nail in the coffin was uh, when I paid for, the, paid for dinner with uh, top table tokens. <laughs> so uh, I probably kind of went from there down to there, and it took me about uh, another 12 months to, to get back on track. But finally we uh, became an item in uh, August of 2009. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good with dates here. So, uh, anyway, so about a year, by 2010, Sibyl had moved in, uh, or rather, she'd moved all of her stuff in. But uh, she still insisted on staying around her parents uh, during the week, mainly because their cooking's a lot better than mine. Um, having said that, so uh, in late 2010, we went travelling, and that's what really cemented our relationship. And um, I know that's, uh, that's where she saw me at my best, um, an international man of mystery, <laughs> able to uh, handle any situation in any culture and, and thrive in um, different languages and all that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, we moved on to 2011, and by this time our parents were taking quite a keen interest um, in, meet, in, in meeting each other. Um, however, Sifon was terrified of the prospects of our parents' meeting, um, and she insisted that you know that couldn't happen. So uh, that made our parents pretty sad, and they had no they had to resort to uh, communicating to each other through Chinese vegetables. <laughs> so uh, every time we visit one of our parents, uh, they give us sacks of marrows and vegetables. <laughs> to to the others. 
and uh, likewise, no sooner have we offloaded those, but uh, we had to send some more back the other way. <laughs> so, uh, I think it was pretty good for Seafoam for a while, you know, she, she managed to get two parents separate, and I was a mule ferrying uh, vegetables between um, Morden and Woolwich. Um, but then it all came crashing to an end with the Marrowgate scandal. Um, a rogue batch of marrows from the Huang household found their way to the Chu household and took the entire family out with food poisoning <laughs> for several days. So, um, my parents were trying to interpret uh, what this latest cable could mean. And the only conclusion that they could have was that it was an act of war. Um, so, uh, to avert disaster, we had to act pretty drastically. So, um, on the... <laughs> on the 7th of August, um, I proposed to see Bong um, at the top of Newman's Corner in Surrey Hills. So, and that brings us to where we are today. So uh, before I hand over to Paul and Ravi, I just want to say thanks to a few, uh, to a few people. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank um, all the friends and family who've um, helped us to uh, put today together. Um, in particular, I'd like to thank Hoyley um, and Comshoy, our two bridesmaids, um, who've been instrumental in kind of um, making everything work behind the scenes. So a uh, big round of applause to them. Secondly, I'd like to thank my, uh, my brothers and all, all other Mahin guys, and uh, led by Shinny and Ravi here, my, my two best men. Um, and I'd like to thank them in advance for the eloquence and restrained speech <laughs> <laughs> that they And also remind them of the fact that my parents are deeply conservative <laughs> and deeply religious. <laughs> Also, I'd like to... Oh, where, where's uh, Kevin? Kevin Tan? Yeah. Right, I'd like to say a special thanks uh, to the Wang family. Um, ever since I first met them, um, you know, they've treated me like a son, uh, made me extremely welcome in their home. Um, I'd like to promise them that I'll be a good husband to see Thong, and, you know, I'll try to make her um, every day as happy as she is today. And um, we promise we'll visit you all often so that you won't miss it from. Uh, but we'll continue to view any marrows you give to us <laughs> with deep suspicion. <laughs> I'm just going to say that in Cantonese. Southland,你好,我是東北翻譯啦。就是等好像今天這麼開心一樣<笑><笑> 對不起,其實我剛剛拍了我自己的家來 I'd also like to say a special thanks uh, to my mum and dad um, It was actually um, in 1975 uh, They got married in the same registry as uh, me and Seafold And uh, I'm actually wearing my dad's old wristwatch today and that's passed as a wedding present um, to my dad from my mum um, both many years ago. So, um, you know, they've, they've always been there for us. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a bit more acting here. Yeah? A bit more acting. Okay. Right. Acting's over. Um, so, just want to thank you very much, mum and dad. And, 
Uh, sorry, another act in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Sipa. <laughs> We made a promise to each other on the day we got engaged, and I think it means more to us than, uh, you know, the wedding vows which we made today. Um, and I'll always be there. Okay, thank you. Well, thanks. Uh, let me start by.